Hello, my name is Hans Graf with MCAT Mastery, and in today's video, I will be walking you through my own MCAT journey, and we'll be sharing a couple key tips that I learned along the way. So I decided to start studying for the MCAT the fall of my junior year, and during that semester, I was taking physiology and biochemistry, as well as balancing extracurriculars. And so I knew that adding the MCAT on top of this was going to be a challenge. And it did not help that when I took my first diagnostic exam, I scored a 500. This was definitely not the score I wanted to start off at. So I decided to start studying for the MCAT the way that most students do. I started reading textbooks and study books, taking notes, watching videos. I was trying to cram as much content into my mind as possible. I felt like I was doing a lot. And so a month later, when I took my first full length practice exam, I was pretty frustrated and felt really dejected when I didn't see a large score increase. In fact, my score barely went up at all. And so I chalked this failure up to me not putting enough time and energy into the MCAT and into my study. And so I spent the next month doing even more reading, watching even more videos, taking more notes, thinking these strategies are what I've been doing all through college. They're effective. That's what I need to do for the MCAT. But at the end of that month, I realized I was very wrong because I took another full length practice exam and I didn't see any score increase from my last full length. And so I realized, man, I just wasted a whole month of my MCAT journey. And so that's when I realized something needed to change. And I started doing research online and using websites such as MCAT Mastery that pointed me in the direction of active study methods instead of passive study methods. And so active study methods include things like taking practice questions, taking practice exams, doing flashcards, basically challenging yourself by asking yourself questions about the content you're learning because this is how the MCAT works. The MCAT isn't gonna ask you to write down your notes, it's gonna ask you questions about the content. And so I realized that all the strategies I had been using for the previous two months were very passive approaches. They included the reading, the watching the videos, the taking notes, but I wasn't challenging myself. So I spent the final month of my MCAT preparation using these active studying techniques. I was using a lot of practice questions, I was studying my full length exams, trying to learn where I went wrong, and using a lot of flashcards. And so going to my final exam, I felt very confident. I was able to look back at all the practice exams that I had taken and notice my steady score increase up. So a month later, when I got my score back and received a 520, I was very excited. But I realized that the majority of my score increase came in that final month of concentrated active recall study. And I compared this to my first two months of very passive studying approaches. And I realized that if only I had spent a lot of my time or more of my time using these active approaches, where could my score have been? But at that point, I thought that my days of learning aldol synthesis pathways and Kohlberg's developmental stages were over. And then I started hearing stories from classmates as well as friends at other schools about their struggles with the MCAT. And I personally knew several of these students and I also knew that they would become great physicians, researchers, and leaders if they were given the opportunity to enter the medical field. And I realized that this was happening to more students across the country. And so I felt called to become an MCAT tutor so I could help students overcome the barrier of the MCAT in their medical school application and so that they can enter the field and become great physicians, great researchers, and great leaders. So since I've become an MCAT tutor, I've gotten to walk alongside many students in their preparation for the MCAT. And the most important thing that I've learned is that the MCAT is not a one-size-fit-all test. In fact, a lot of the tips and techniques that you see online cannot be applied to everyone's scenario. It is actually best to test out different strategies and learning methods that work best for you and to not use the ones that don't work for you. So now you may be asking, okay, this is awesome, Haynes, but what do I do now? And so I would recommend doing two things. The first is to sign up for MCAT Mastery's free email strategy course. And in this course, you will receive strategies and stories of students who have successfully taken the MCAT. The second is to sign up for tutoring sessions through MCAT Mastery. And these tutoring sessions can be with myself or another tutor who would love to walk alongside you in your MCAT journey. And you can find the links for both of these things down below this video. And again, my name is Haynes Graf. Thank you for taking the time for watching this video. And remember, you can achieve a good MCAT score.